Look at all this cool glass I ended up getting at the show. Just love, love it. I can't wait to use it. I dropped some. Ow! Okay, some of it's still sharp. This piece, this piece just, this piece got me. But I still love it. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, I'm Shy. I'm a 20 year old fantasy multimedia body positive artist and welcome to the art show vlog so this past saturday it is currently wednesday as i'm filming the intro i had my second art show at the bunker underground art social club <laughs> tongue twister in Sacramento, California, and it was such a fun night. This being my second show there, I did switch up some things that I did from the last one, and I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. My last art show goal was $100 in sales, and I hit it. Actually, last art show, the first one I did, was exactly $101, so I went one dollar over the sales goal so overachiever <laughs> uh in all seriousness though so this art show my goal was 150 in sales for the night so let's see if we end up making that the bunker underground art shows usually consist of 13 artists this time i do believe there was 12 because somebody had a double wall it is a small DIY venue that I have done for only one night. I know they previously last year did some two night art shows, but it looks like this year they're keeping it all to one night. It's a sweet husband and wife who put it on. You could either take down day of or leave it and take down a different day. I always choose just to take down day of so I don't have to come back. I also always have music and a taco vendor out front. I did. I was too hungry when I got my tacos and I forgot to take a video of them. So my bad, you don't get to see the tacos in this video, but I will be back. So I will give videos of the tacos for you guys at a different show, okay? I do apologize that you're missing out on the beautifulness of the tacos though. They were very good though. I will, I will say that. I'm sure you're tired of me rambling. Let's get on to the fun stuff. I ended up moving the mantis out because I didn't want anything hitting the clay horns on the drive to the venue and breaking them. setting up. I did not get as much footage as I thought because I ran out of space while I was recording. So, but here we are. We are done. All set up for Saturday. So, I'll see you guys later on this week. All right. It is art show day. We are here. I have to set up my fairy box of little treasures and then it starts in like 15 minutes. So, I'll have plenty of time. It's a little tiny box. So, I'll see you guys inside. 
So we're about an hour in, and I've made two sales already. So I sold an original, so I sold the uh, Alpus and the Adventurer piece. So technically, I guess I sold three pieces, but that was a pair. So I mean, two sales and a crisp, and it is looking gorgeous in here. The vibes are amazing. Pretty busy in here a second ago. Just cleared out, but music just started. So I think that's why. But yeah, it's going good so far. left them up and I'll be back another day to take them down. It was a successful night. I had so much fun. Ended up making more sales throughout the night after the first two. And there were so many fun people here. It was a lot calmer than the last art show, but I ended up making more than the last one, so it worked out and we're about to roll out all right like i said it was such a great night honestly one of my favorite parts of the night were i had two like highlights of the night actually one was i had two friends looking at my wall one was looking at the box of treasures and one was looking above the one looking at the box of treasures was closer to me and if I remember correctly, she started a conversation with me first. So we're sitting, we're talking. And then I noticed her friend's bag was like Star Wars themed and had like all the different Star Wars pins on it. I'm a Star Wars nerd. You get me talking about Star Wars, it's over. So me, her, and the guy that I'm seeing ended up sitting talking about Star Wars for a little bit. And it actually transitioned into a sale. I don't know if she was... So she was staring at that print for a while. So it could have already been a sale made. But I just prolonged the process while nerding out about Star Wars. But I, I like to think we connected. <laughs> I like to think we connected over the Star Wars conversation. And that's what like tip, tipped the cup there. And then earlier in the night. So something I always get is I look like my wall. And now I almost play that up a little bit too. Because every I stand out I stand out in a room of artists which is hard you know I'm also six feet tall so that will help but I stand out I look like my walls I go full fairy 
hey, I take it back. Not full fairy, but I definitely amp up the fairy core look during the shows. So one of the artists had their nephew with them who I already knew previously, but he had only met me like once or twice. So he comes running up to me to say hello. And I could kind of tell that he recognizes me, but he doesn't. And he goes, is this your wall? And points to mine, I'm like, yeah, dude, it is. And he just runs off, like runs off. And I'm like, is, is your mom here? He's all, no, it just keeps running, right? And I was like, all right. He comes back with his painting that he was showing on his uncle's wall. And it was pink monster. And he's like, because I like pink monsters too. And I was like, high five, bud. Because samesies, samesies. So that was fun. And then I ended up doing some trades. Speaking of monsters with uh, Monsters in Suits, which was the artist next to me. All, oh, there we go. It's focusing way better this time. So that's some of his work. You definitely saw it in the video earlier. He was moving paintings like no other. That, he was doing good. But his stuff was also very well priced and amazing. So it does not surprise me. At one point, one of my friends who did come to visit was about to buy two of his pieces, walked away to try to go find him. Um, didn't realize he had like a self-service thing that you could do. Somebody came up right behind her, bought the exact two paintings that she wanted by the time she circled back around the building, which it's not a big building. It was like maybe five minutes tops if she was stopping and looking at stuff. Uh, it was gone. They were sold. <laughs> so it was going quick. And then the guy that I've been seeing bought me a print from my friend Danielle. And then you saw some of the glass. I'll, I'll do a better shot of these as well close up but I will be making art out of these I'm so excited to add texture and make them like the little jewels in my paintings and yeah oh I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet but something you're going to see something with these now the big question did I make my sales goal I did I did make my sales goal I ended up actually making $160 in sales that night. So again, again, who's an overachiever? I did make my goal. I sold a lot of prints and a few originals and some stickers as well. So it was a good mix of everything. There were a few people who did not end up making sales that night, but something I did notice was they didn't mark off their pricing or they didn't have lower priced items as well. They only had originals, which is something I didn't do last time with the marking my prices on my board, on my wall. I didn't mark prices because I wanted people to come up and talk to me and possibly offer something. And I know one of the artists did the same exact thing this time because it was his first show too. Last time, most of them were prints or the one original I did sell was from somebody I knew. And I realized that night, people either don't think things are for sale if you don't have a price on it, or are shy and don't wanna approach you and talk to you about it. So this time I did price everything. And I think that made a big, big difference for me because not everybody wants to walk up and talk to you. Just because I'm talkative doesn't mean the people coming to the show are, you know, some people just want to look, walk up, buy their thing. I think that is something that actually really worked well for the guy next to me. Like I said, he had like a self-service uh, area where when he was gone, you just scanned his Venmo. In his tags, he just did sticky notes where mine, I like everything a little bit more aesthetic. So I did take time to make aesthetic uh, note cards. But you don't have to. I just am extra. Uh, where he just put sticky notes with the price. The person scanned their Venmo, paid, and marked it off as sold. And he was still moving stuff while he wasn't there. So it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be hands-on and super talkative. Some people just want to be left alone. 
you know some people want to be left alone and will buy it whether you're there or not and like i said this time i really did last time i did look like my wall too i had some like fairy like accessories on but this time i hyped it up a lot more and everyone walked up to me and said i looked like my wall they knew which wall was mine so i think that was something that also helped in my case i know not everyone's art or even personal style will work for that but it has for me and i am going to be coming out with a video for i'm sorry if you hear the woodpeckers i am going to be coming out with a video soon on my tips for art shows which i had a little sprinkled in here of what i learned from my art shows but that's where we're going to be going deep dive into that so if you guys are still here thank you so much all the artists who were at the show are going to be linked down below so go check them out they're all amazing talented i will not be at next month's art show as a artist i am planning on hopefully still going down and visiting everyone because i want to I want to support everyone still whether I'm there or not as an artist and I believe one of my friends actually got on the show because I like sent the link to her about it so I want to be there and support her too you know but I will be back as a showing artist at the Bunker Underground on the April show. Their shows are always the last Saturday of the month this year and start at seven o'clock so if you are in the sacramento area and want to go support artists and have no plans on the last saturday of every month go check out the bunker underground there's music tacos and amazing artists i will be doing paint with me's more event vlogs as i have events and tip vlogs plus my monthly goal videos so if you're interested in any of that as well as I'm going to be working on some DIY decor here soon. If you're interested in that, go ahead, follow along, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.